tonight I'm going to be cooking a kadai chicken. A kadai chicken, a kadai is really this utensil. So that's what it's named after. We do most of our cooking in kadai, so technically we could call anything kadai. This is a kadai without ears, it doesn't have the handles. So we're going to start with oil. add onions this is one onion when we don't add cumin we can just let the onions go straight we don't need to wait for the oil to heat up I'm just going to put two onions because I'm making quite a lot of chicken Put it in the food processor, but I'm just going to cut it. Try to put as little oil as possible to fry these onions. As in most Punjabi cooking, our next ingredients are going to be ginger and garlic. Garlic, ginger. Meanwhile, I'm going to get the tomatoes ready, green chilies ready to get chopped. These are hot chilies, so I'll just put two. And these are extras. We'll put a lot of tomatoes today. This is ginger garlic paste. If you don't have time, you can use it from a jar, but I prefer fresh ginger and garlic. Now we're gonna get our tomatoes ready. I've taken three large vine ripened tomatoes and two chilies. Two green chilies. You can do it twice. It's going to be a lot. You can add more to it. Thank you. 
kind of kadai because it doesn't get dirty where the handles are. But then you have to use the pakat. I'm just thinking, should I add the chicken first or the tomatoes? I think today I'm going to add the chicken first. You can add the tomatoes or the chicken, but today I'll just do the chicken first. Because I want the chicken to brown. So give this another two minutes, let it get a little more brown. I do not like undercooked onions. Have some time to sip my tea. I've taken off all the fat and I've cut it in nice size pieces and I washed it with vinegar and I'm going to lower the flame now. Turmeric. Paprika. I don't need more spices because I'm going to be putting Laziza chicken spice mix in the end. So I'm not over spicing it at this point. dry or a little wet? With gravy. Gravy. Then I just have to add water later on. I don't want it to be raw. I want to cook it a little bit before I add the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. well, we don't have to take a picture of this. So please don't cook without it if you can get it somewhere. I've just grown it on the deck. This is not from my deck though. You get flavor and and vitamins from this, so you must use it. For chicken, I like to add a few peppers, just for garnish. So I don't, I do not have a green pepper today, but I do have a red, a little bit of a red one, and I have a yellow one. So I might just add those for color. And I can put them in along with the tomato. This is just, you know, an afterthought. It's going to look very colorless. So I'm just going to add some peppers. Green peppers taste good with this chicken.
the flavor. I just want the color. It smells so good. Like it? I've always yeah. liked it. <laughs> Chicken is losing most of its rawness. That's when I'm going to add the tomatoes and the peppers. Is it yellow enough? Yep. Yeah, more. There'll be more turmeric in that masala, I think. I really, really like Pakistani masalas. My favorite are Laziza and Shan. I like them way more than Indian masalas. Especially for chicken and stuff. One more minute and then we can add the other, other stuff. We're going to cover it and we're going to cook it for another 15 minutes. So I'm too afraid to eat raw meat. some later so they have more color and I'm going to put two spoons of Laziza these are nice they have two packets two little packets rather than one big one it's one it's quite a lot of chicken two I don't want to walk yeah about two is good. If I if it's bland, we'll add more later. Right. I'm going to cover it and let it cook for about 10-15 minutes and when it's done I'm just going to add the rest of the peppers and the cilantro and that's it. All right, that's okay. karai chicken.